another dose of Jossa, and ako po si Jossa, and I'm a self-proclaimed a mermaid, who is a lover, solo traveler, lover of life, and pursuer of dreams. And for the day's dose, get ready to live your best life because we are going to do a WWE superstar Liv Morgan makeup tutorial. But before we get started, please make sure you click subscribe to my Dose of Jossa YouTube channel, like and share my videos, and also ring that notification bell button for more doses of Jossa in the future. Now, I am so looking forward to filming this makeup video because if you are a huge WWE fan like I am, you know that Liv Morgan has a lot of fun and playful makeup looks and honestly up to this moment I still haven't figured out which Liv Morgan makeup look I'm going for but we are going to live it up anyways and I cannot wait to share with you the plenty of reasons why I and the rest of the WWE Universe fell in love with Liv Morgan. So if you guys are ready to watch me transform from this into this. So just keep on watching. and light because the ventilation here inside my YouTube makeup studio is not that very good. Um, but anyway, I already prepped my skin earlier and I used the Lux Organics Sika Rescue Calming Toner to tone my face and I featured this in my previous skincare video. I will be linking the video in the description box below so make sure you check it out. This retails for 179 pesos and I bought it from Watsons. What I really love about this toner is you just spray it all over your face and you're good to go. No need to put it on a cotton pad. It's a very easy and fast to use. For moisturizer, I went back with a good old favorite of mine. This is the Jeju Aloe Ice 98% Aloe Vera Soothing Gel with Cooling Effect. Now, it's really been a while since I've used this product and I have to say that I miss my amoy niya and it really does have this cooling and smoothing effect on you. So far, this retails for 219 pesos. I also bought this from Watsons. That's pretty much it for my skin prep for this video. So since we're doing a WWE superstar inspired makeup video, a eh, need natin ng pang malakas ng primer. This time I will be using the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. Now I did not buy this here in the Philippines. This was actually given to me by my little sister CJ. So shout out to CJ if you're watching, which I know you are. I've looked it up on Line and I'm not exactly sure how much this is here in the Philippines, but I've seen it's around 1,599 pesos mark. You could use any primer for as long as it will make you look good as you enter the wrestling ring. It will make your makeup last while you do those wrestling moves. Get on. <laughs> You just put a pea-sized amount on the palm of your hand, spread it all over your face, especially your problem areas. So it's time for foundation. I will be using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Foundation and I'm in the shade 230. Now this retails for 499 pesos and I bought this from the SM department store a couple of days ago. It's my first time to try this foundation and I think I got a pretty good shade match. We will be using the Blendy by Anne Klutz Velvety Angled Sponge. Uh, this retails for 229 pesos from Lazada and it comes with a really nice drying rack which is what I really love about the Blendy by Anne Klutz. I've used the Softy Egg version of the Blendy sponge before. I'm very excited to try this new Velvety Angled Blendy by Anne Klutz to apply our foundation and other cream products. Now let's talk about Liv Morgan and why I 
love her. Now, her whole character revolves around her being this huge underdog and someone that you can't help but love and root for. It's not really any different from how she is in real life. She grew up from a very humble beginnings in New Jersey. She was raised by a single mother and grew up with her four brothers and a sister um, after their father died when she was young. So they never really had a lot growing up and her love for wrestling started when she was doing a lot of wrestling with her four brothers in their backyard. She grew up idolizing WWE Hall of Famer Lita for her high-flying moves and that's what really got her into loving and liking WWE and wrestling in general. By the way, I super love this velvety angled blendy sponge by Mama Anne Klutz. And Liv Morgan's athletic background mostly came from her competitive cheerleading and she also worked for and modeled for Hooters. So she is really someone that's built from the ground up. Really has a lot of grind and drive in her to succeed. So next we have concealer and I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer which I've been using since my Ulta haul makeup video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. I will be linking the video in the description box below so make sure you watch it. I love this chart uh, and I love the Tarte Shape Tape because it really is a long lasting. I've been using it almost every day. We're gonna put it on our under eye area. Down the bridge of the nose and the upper lip area. Now I bought this from the Ulta store in Anaheim, California and it retails somewhere around $30 or 1,600 pesos. But it really is worth every amount because it will really make your makeup last. So Liv Morgan was discovered while training in a gym in New Jersey back in 2014. And even though she signed a contract with WWE back in 2014, Liv Morgan made her official wrestling debut on WWE NXT the year after 2015, Wrestling Eva Marie. And what's unique about Liv Morgan's WWE NXT debut is that her name is not even Liv Morgan. Morgan and she didn't even have a proper ring entrance. She was pretty much there to be a jobber and enhancement talent. Now a jobber is another wrestling term which means you're pretty much there to make your opponent or the other person look good and most of the time jobbers lose their wrestling match. Like I don't think the NXT announcers even acknowledged what her name was. So it was more or less Quite a very forgettable WWE NXT wrestling debut for Liv Morgan. So Liv Morgan wrestled in WWE NXT from 2015 to 2016 where she started using the ring name Liv Morgan and her whole character is about this a proud girl from her home state of New Jersey living her best life which makes a lot of sense because she actually grew up in New Jersey and speaking of living her best life I am living for this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It blends in perfectly and it just made the base of my makeup a whole lot flawless so I like it overall. Now it's time to set our cream products and this time I will be using two different types of setting powder. To brighten up the under eye area, I will be using Beauty Bakery's Flower Setting Powder in the shade Rice or White. And then for the rest of the face, we are going to set it with my all-time favorite, the Nichido Ivory Glow Final Setting Powder. This retails for the very affordable amount of 150 pesos and you can buy this from any Watson stores nationwide. our under eye area and we will start working on the eyebrows. I will be using the 
the BLK Cosmetics Universal Brow Stick to outline the shape of our eyebrows. This is my go-to eyebrow product and this retails for 499 pesos which you can buy from any SM department store. To fill our eyebrows in, we will be using the brow kit from the illustrious birthday collection or collaboration between Filipina actress Nadine Lustre and BYS Cosmetics. Super like the packaging. It's a very Liv Morgan because in real life, Liv Morgan is into the spiritual energy and candles and crystals. She even sells some of them online. It's very fitting. It fits the vibe of the makeup look that we're going for. and I will be using the darker shade of the brow kit from Illustrious uh, Nadine Lustre BYS Cosmetics collaboration to fill in the outer portion of my eyebrows and then I will be using the lighter brown shade to fill in the inner portion of my eyebrows. So Liv Morgan officially made her main roster debut on November 21, 2017 and she made her debut as one third of the team of the Riot Squad with Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan. Their team really caused a lot of chaos backstage. They did a lot of three on ones and ganging up on their opponents. By the way, for the brow kit, a little bit goes a long way so make sure you start with as little product to blend the eyebrows and as part of the riot squad Liv Morgan was the sort of self-proclaimed a problem child or a juvenile delinquent of the group together with Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan <laughs> having a lot of fun during her time with the Riot Squad. She was even rocking the pink hair and the blue tongue, which perfectly fits her character of being the self-proclaimed problem child or juvenile delinquent of the group. Not only were they a threat as a trio on the WWE Women's Division, but their bond grew even stronger in real life because they're traveling together month after month after week. They became really close like sisters and as a matter of fact they got matching tattoos of the actual date of their main roster debut back in November of 2017 which I think is really adorable and nothing cements a friendship like a tattoo together. However all of that came to an abrupt end when back in 2019 during the WWE Superstar Shake Up, Liv Morgan was separated from Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan. Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan were moved to the WWE Raw roster while Liv Morgan was moved to WWE SmackDown on her own, which means they will no longer be traveling together for the meantime. So after filling in our eyebrows, we're going to go back with our BLK Cosmetics Universal Brow Stick to set our eyebrows with the mascara portion. So we've cleaned up the edges of our eyebrows with a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I've also brought you guys in closer because we'll start working on our eyeshadow look. And the thing about Liv Morgan, like what I've said earlier, is she loves experimenting with different makeup looks which makes it even more exciting. And I think I have an idea of what eyeshadow makeup look I'm going for. Now, I'll start with the transition shade. I will be using the Real Her Dream So Big eyeshadow palette. Now, this retails for $28 or 1,566 pesos. And we will be using the shade Aspiration for our transition shade. <laughs> WWE Smackdown, Liv Morgan was not really 
featured heavily each week on television. She was still trying to find her footing as a solo or singles competitor on the WWE SmackDown Women's Division without her sisters Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan on her side. And I think the only time that she wrestled on WWE SmackDown following the Superstar Shake-Up in 2019 was in her match with Charlotte Flair. But before we talk about Liv Morgan's wrestling match with Charlotte Flair, we are going to dip onto the shade Imagine in the Real Her Dream So Big eyeshadow palette. Using a smaller blending brush, we are going to further define the shape of our eyeshadow look. <laughs> solo competitor versus Charlotte Flair. She put up a good fight, however, it's no surprise there, she lost the match. But what happened was very memorable. She went down to the WWE SmackDown commentator stable, grabbed the microphone on her hand, and famously said the lines that once she comes back, the WWE Universe will see the real her, which is very interesting and ironic because we are using the real her Dream So Big eyeshadow palette. So love a good tie-in. Now let's go back to the Real Her Dream So Big eyeshadow palette. We're going to use a smaller crease brush and dip right into the shade Empower to further define our crease. <laughs> on the outer corner of my eyeshadow look. So I will be dipping into the 39L Hit The Lights eyeshadow palette from Morphe. Now this retails for $39.99, which is around 2,237 pesos. And we will be using this black shade with a slight shimmer on it. And we are going to put it on the outer area of our eyeshadow look. So as with any dark eyeshadow, a little bit goes a long way. Just put as little product as you can on your makeup brush. And I'm just shaping it into like a V on the outer corner. And instantly you can see that little bit of definition on the smoky eyeshadow look that we're going for. Then we'll go back right into that small blending brush that we used earlier and then blend everything in. and using a tart shape tape we are going to apply the concealer and cut the crease from the inner corner of our eye to the outer two-thirds of our eyelid <music> my crease is to first use a small angled brush to outline where I want my cut crease to be and then afterwards I will be, I will be filling that right in with a slightly bigger angled brush. <music> concealer on my eyelid for our cut crease. Now we're setting this with our Nichido Final Setting Powder in Ivory Glow to make sure that we don't have any creasing on our eyelids. Now using a flat shader brush, we are going to dip back right into the Morphe 39L Hit the Lights eyeshadow palette and we are going to dip into this gray shade over here. Then we are going to pat that on top of our cut crease. Then make sure you guys are using a padding motion because it works best when you're applying eyeshadow color on your eyelids. Also, 
Also, I forgot to mention that I'm using pala the mirror from the Lustrous Nadine Lustre BYS collection or collaboration. Really nice because it has a little switch on its side that you can press and it has this mini lights on it para mas makita ninyo ang sarili niyo while doing your makeup. Now to make our cut crease pop even more, we are going to use the other side of the flat shader brush that we used earlier for the gray shade and we are going to dip right back into the Morphe 39L Hit the Lights eyeshadow palette and use this silver shade and pat that right on top of the gray shade on our cut crease. And I am just using soft, gentle padding motions to try and distribute that silver shade all over our cut crease. Our eyeshadow look is starting to come together pretty much like Liv Morgan's singles or solo career in the WWE. We're not going to see her for a couple of months. However, she made her long-awaited return on an episode of WWE Raw surprisingly breaking up a wedding between Bobby Lashley and Alana and then revealing herself to be Alana's secret lover in front of the WWE Universe. And at this point, she started feuding with Alana, teaming up with Rusev, and it really started off her singles or solo competitor run on WWE Raw. It ultimately led to her first ever WrestleMania moment in 2020 when she had a victory against Natalya in the WWE WrestleMania 36 kickoff show. She also changed her look. She started wearing a lot more black and leather wrestling ring gear. She switched up her hair from pink to platinum blonde and even her makeup. She started using dark smoky shimmery eyeshadow looks and really starting to find her character in the WWE as Liv Morgan. Now I am living for this eyeshadow look so far. We just soften up the edges of the outer corner of our cut crease with the shades Imagine and Empower from the Real Her Dream So Big eyeshadow palette that we used earlier. And then next is eyeliner. So just like Liv Morgan being in a new chapter or a new era in her WWE career, I also feel like I'm in a new chapter or new era in my eyeliner makeup routine because instead of using eyeliner pencils or pens lately, I've been using a lot of LA Girls gel liner in the shade black along with a small angle brush to apply my eyeliner. I just feel that I have a little bit more control over the shape of my wing. I just find it easier and faster to use. Oh, but it's super fast and super easy and most importantly it gets the job done just like Liv Morgan and this LA Girl gel liner retails for 319 pesos and you can buy this from any SM department stores nationwide. You can also use the product for your eyebrows so sobrang sulit siya. Now we are going to remove our under eye bake because we are going to start working on our lower lash line. <laughs> working on our signature Liv Morgan teardrop makeup look which she started wearing back in 2020. Trust me, it's not only Liv Morgan who was in tears during that time because that was the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Liv Morgan and the rest of the WWE continued to entertain the WWE universe throughout the pandemic. They wrestled inside the WWE Thunderdome. Liv Morgan also wrestled a different opponent briefly reunited with her former fellow Riot Squad team member Ruby Riot. Eventually got separated from them again because in 2021, WWE released a lot of WWE superstars budget cuts because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And among the release were Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan, which leaves Liv Morgan as the only surviving original Riot Squad member left on the roster. Now for our lower lash line, we will be using the eyeshadow palette from the Lustrous and the Dean Lustre BYS collaboration or collection and we will be dipping right into this shimmery light blue shade. We will put that all over our lower lash line. 
medyo patchy yung shade from the eyeshadow palette from the Lutz Chris Nadine Luz Pre BYS collaboration collection. But okay lang, we'll make it work. And then we are going to further define our lower lash line by aligning our line with the Ariana Grande REM Beauty Eyeliner Pencil. This is my least favorite step in my makeup routine. I really don't like aligning my waterline. My eyes are very sensitive so madali akong malu if something touches or any makeup product touches my eyes. But I guess that's the look that we're going for. So kung maiyak man tayo, o dire direction na Liv Morgan. Signature eardrop and makeup look na agad, o diba? We're done with our lower lash line and so far, sulit naman lahat ng pagtitiis sa sakit while aligning my waterline. Up next, we are going to put Makeup Revolution Highlighter on the inner corners of my eye and also the brow bone to complete the look. And then we'll also use our Maybelline New York The Falsest Lash Lift Mascara. Now this retails for 399 pesos and you can buy this from any SM department stores or Watson's Branch nationwide. Alright, so false eyelashes are finally on and in case you're wondering where I got my false eyelashes, they're called Dingson and they're from Lazada. It retails for 94 pesos and 79 cents for an entire box. This time we are going to contour our face and I will be using the BPLA Contour Kit. This retails for 415 pesos and you can buy this from any SM department stores nationwide. I will be using the light bronzer and a dark bronzer to contour our face and to achieve that signature Liv Morgan inspired makeup look. Then we'll also contour the jaw. And then using the light bronzer, we're also going to contour our nose. And then it's not a jaw so makeup look if we don't put highlighter on the tip of our nose. We are going to use a good old favorite of mine. This is the Nichido Peach Glow Blush and this retails for 88 pesos and you can get this from any branch of Watson store nationwide. This is such a throwback for me because I used to use a lot of blush from Nichido way way back. So we're going to use that now as our blush. Put it on the apples of our cheeks. And for highlighter, we are going to go back to the BPLA Contour Kit and use the Shimmer Highlighter and put it on our cheeks. Now we'll move on to the fun part of our Liv Morgan inspired makeup look, which is to create the actual teardrop that will run down on both of our eyes. And for this, we are going to use the Revlon Liquid Alloy Eyeshadow. And this retails for $10.77 or roughly around 602 pesos and 58 cents. It's the first time that I'm doing this type of makeup on my Dose of Jossa YouTube. YouTube channel so wish me luck hopefully it goes well and talagang ma-achieve natin yung signature Liv Morgan teardrop makeup look. So what we're going to do is to start with a little amount. Start from the middle of our lower lash line. Have the actual tears makeup run. Same level as our nose. Here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh. You want to make sure also that all of your contour, your blush, and highlights are already finished before you do this because this will be layered on top of all your makeup on the cheeks. So you want to start with a small triangle. So the center part of your lower lash line and have it slowly drip 
to your cheeks. So the key to this is to start carefully and slowly. Because, syempre, you don't want to mess up the makeup that you already built and applied. And so far, I really like the color payoff of this Revlon Liquid Alloy Eyeshadow. It's a perfect color. Carefully drag the color down to the same level as your nose. So we're done with the left eye, we'll move on to the right eye. Once again, start with a small triangle at the center portion of your lower lash line. And also, don't be afraid to mess up because later on, we are going to put crystals on top of this. So this will just be the background for the actual teardrops that we're going to put in for our Liv Morgan inspired makeup look. It's giving me a Liv Morgan. It's giving me euphoria. I love it so much, but we won't stop there because up next we're going to glue on our eye crystals in shot to fully achieve the teardrop effect of our Liv Morgan inspired makeup look. So now my favorite part of this Liv Morgan inspired a makeup look and that is to apply our eye crystals and for our eye crystals I bought them from Lazada and they're only for 79 pesos and we will be using three teardrop crystals for each eye the two smaller eye crystals will be from the lower lash line and the middle and then the large teardrop shaped crystal will run down at the bottom and we will be using the duo eyelash glue to put them in place now all you have to do is put a small amount of eyelash glue at the back of teardrop shaped crystal Give it a couple of seconds and then just using your fingers or if you're comfortable in using a tweezer, uh, you could also do that but for me, just using my fingers. And then put it on the center part of your lower lash line. Adding the second crystal. And last but not the least, we'll add in the large teardrop eye crystal the me bandang bottom. And voila! See how much of a difference it makes on our eye makeup. So we're finished with the right eye. We're going to do the same on our left eye and we'll be right back. Morgan, she uses a lot of eye symbolism in her entrance titantron, her wrestling gear, and even to her WWE merchandise. So even though Liv Morgan suffered a lot of losses and career lows on her singles or solo competitor run in the main roster, she also had a lot of very memorable highs. Like that one time that she teamed up with her former fellow Riot Squad team member Ruby Riot as they went for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship in a WWE WrestleMania 37 in 2021. She was also clearly a crowd favorite in the 2021 Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And she also entered a high profile feud or rivalry with then WWE Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch, which gave her a pay-per-view match in WWE Day 1, where she almost won the WWE Raw Women's Championship. She was also a clear crowd favorite in the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble match where she had briefly reunited with then former fellow Riot Squad team member the returning Sarah Logan. She teamed up with Rhea Ripley and even at one point became an honorary member of the Bullet Club with the phenomenal one AJ Styles Finn Balor. But without a doubt her most shining moment in WWE is when she won the 2022 Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, which got her the Women's Money in the Bank contract. And not only that, but she also successfully cashed this in with then WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Now, Liv Morgan had a very successful cash in, and she won her first ever title in the WWE main roster, which is the WWE SmackDown Women's 
Championship and WWE Universe, including myself, was very happy for her. It felt so satisfying to finally see an underdog get her long overdue and well-deserved a moment. Now we are going to finish off our entire makeup look with our lips. So we're going to use the lip liner from the Lustrous Nadine Lustre BYS collection or collaboration to line our lips. And for lips, we are going to use the matte lipstick from the Lustrous Nadine Lustre BYS collaboration or collection and we're going to use that deep violet shade. with this Liv Morgan inspired makeup look and I've seen Liv Morgan wear violet or purple lipstick before. I think I've seen her once in her Live Forever WWE documentary available on Peacock V. So this definitely fits the entire vibe for our Liv Morgan inspired makeup look. Now last but definitely not the least, we are going to set all of our makeup with the BLK Cosmetics Skin Hydrating Ultra Fine Mist Wonder Melon Setting Spray. Now this retails for 449 pesos and you can buy them from any branch of Watson stores nationwide. wear our official Liv Morgan t-shirt from wweshop.com, get our hair done, put on some accessories, and we'll be right back. And we are back with our full Liv Morgan fantasy as what you guys can see. I'm wearing my official shirt from wweshop.com, wearing Liv Morgan's signature headband and her necklace. And to complete the look, I also have the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship belt. Last minute, I decided to put on some lip gloss and I used the House Laboratories lip gloss in the shade Glass Slipper, which I find very fitting for a Liv Morgan makeup because she had such an underdog Cinderella-like career in the WWE. And it's very true to the character of Liv Morgan because she loves changing things up from her looks to her makeup even to her wrestling gear which she has worn a lot of very fun and interesting wrestling gears from the past few years and you just can't help but root for someone like Liv Morgan. bell button for more doses of Jossa in the future. And once again, ako po ulit si Jossa na nagsasabi sa inyong lahat that we are all mermaids in this ocean called life. So, keep on living and keep on swimming! Till next time!